Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our May 2025 Patch Tuesday updates rolling out, which roll out on the second Tuesday of every month. And I received my update today on the 14th, and Microsoft rolled out the update late yesterday in my region on the 13th. Now, Patch Tuesday updates will be downloaded and installed automatically. And if we head to our update history, for this month, the update is KB5058379. And contains a couple of important security fixes. Now, just a very quick overview as to what has been patched security-wise. First of all, for Windows 10 version 22H2, there are 34 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. 31 are important and 3 are critical. And your critical vulnerabilities are your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update that has rolled out. 34 vulnerabilities patching 3 critical flaws. And over and above the security fixes that have rolled out, the update itself is not bringing anything new to the table. But if you didn't install this update, KB50512, which was the optional bug fix C-release update that rolled out towards the end of last month, as always, those fixes and improvements will be carried over into this update automatically. Now, I have posted a whole video on 5055612, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen. So, if you didn't install the update, you will also get fixes for graphics CPU para virtualization rolling out. And para virtualization basically is a method for virtualizing graphics processing units, GPUs in a way that virtual machines can access and utilize the GPU's resources. So that was quite an important fix that was made available. And then it included a fix for the operating system security. And it fixes a known issue, which is the System Guard Runtime Monitor Broker Service, also known as the SGRM Broker Service. And that was part of the event viewer. And I posted a video on that and and this update has also addressed that known issue, which is good to hear. But go check the video out if you'd like some more information. So that's more or less what's new with KB5058379, because the closer we get to end of support for Windows 10, obviously Microsoft is not focusing too much on new features or front-facing features for the operating system. And over and above that, the Windows Servicing Stack has also been updated, which Microsoft basically does with every update, which is the component that installs Windows updates. And once the update is installed, if we just head over to our About Windows menu, for Windows 10 version 22H2, after the update has been applied, OS Bold is 19045.58. Far four. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.